Good morning, Michael with Back to the Future Trading. We're going to look at the E-mini S&P today. And take a look at our transparency slider here. What time is it now? I'm going to hit enter, refresh, just so you can see I'm not doing any shenanigans here. It's 921 today on September 6th. And we're looking at the E-mini S&P, and here you'll see the time warp, uh, tachyon time warp from our tachyon line, which is doing some really cool stuff, actually. Uh, presently, we're at the 921 bar, looking for signals to the right. And to the left of us, we have um, signals that were expected that either worked or they didn't work. So, for example... We were, uh, we were waiting for a move down at 8.14. We were waiting for a move down at 8.42 and a move down at 8.58. Uh, we were, conversely, waiting for a move up at 7.57, 8.37, 8.49. Small move up here and then a bottom here at 9.10, which occurred just below the lows of these pullbacks. So, little fishing expeditions here. I expect this low here to be tested before the open or at the open here in eight minutes. So, we will uh, wait for the open to get here. You can see the signals that are coming up. There's a selling pressure signal at 931. There's a buying pressure signal at 946. Another one at 953. And then another one at 10 o'clock. There is a uh, inflation report today at 10 o'clock. And uh, another one at 9.45. If we check over at the uh, news release today, we'll see a big PMI report here at 10 o'clock, 9.45 uh, as well. <clears throat> so a few things on the board. All right, let's uh, let about six minutes pass by and we'll come back here and see where we're at. Okay, we're uh, a few minutes in, 9.25. One thing I want to note that in a downtrend, which we have a blue moving average here, if we puncture this white line right here, we'll be looking for a, um, a selling pressure signal. I just want to order submitted. get ahead of that right now. It's pre-market. We've got five minutes to go. They're attacking this low like we thought they would. But in a downtrend, when Order there's filled. the failure of a white dot, Order submitted. it's sort of like saying the buyers that used to be there are no longer there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out for a target Order submitted. right here. Let me go to break even. I'm more than halfway to it right now. And we'll go over this trade here while we're waiting for the next setup. Right now we're up two and three quarters. I'm going to lock in half of that trade right now. So we've got about two points locked in. Let's go ahead and lock in two more ticks. Three. Order filled. So three dollars. Order canceled. On that move locked in. Pretty good stuff. So this is a trade that we teach every week in our webinars and it's also all over our website and in our YouTube channel. Basically what we're looking for, and there's our final target hit right there, one to one or R, I think. When the moving average is falling down, we've got about three minutes till the open right here. We're looking for signals in the direction of the trade, uh, the trend rather. So when we get to a, a selling pressure signal, for example, I'll just put a blue right there. 
it's pretty easy to know what we're going to do. We're going to sell, unless it's uh, an inverted pattern, but that's another comment for another day. Over here, when we get to a buying pressure signal, we call these punctures. Uh, think of it like a, a failure with trend. Ordinarily, when we get to a buying pressure signal, we're waiting for it to kind of either go up uh, or uh, potentially go sideways, right? Because people are buying or essentially covering the shorts. But what happens if it continues to fall and go down at this time? It means that the buyers that the software has normally tracked has normally tracked as entering the market at this time are absent. For some reason, they're not following through on this behavior pattern. And so I put a sell order at that stop level and we basically have a vacuum of resistance to our selling pressure. So that's what we're, uh, we're watching for uh, right there. And that was a pretty good example of a puncture trade. So got three points locked in there. Pretty good. $150 start. Um, the other thing we're going to watch for here at uh, 931 is a pattern known as a pattern four. When we arrive at a, um, a brand new low and a selling pressure signal exists here at 931, many times the signal will reverse and, uh, and go up. So we're going to go ahead and activate our inversion signal. I usually keep mine turned off because I can see them by eye. But if you're a new user, it'll be helpful to um, see these patterns come in. Market's open here in just about one minute. All right, so you've got the pattern numbers on the screen right now. We're coming into 931. And uh, this was our first trade. Puncture trade at the white line. Pretty good setup. Now we're coming into 931. And the first of the three candles is a brand new low. With pattern fours, when this candle closes here in a minute, what tends to happen is I wait for punctures of the low. All right. So if you look right here, there's usually a surge back up at a pattern four. And this, this is a six year old PDF, which is funny because right here, there's the, the signal there at 930 and it's sort of doing exactly what, uh, what the book warns us about here with this pattern four. 931 is coming. Now I won't trade this short until it reaches the low. Pattern fours are sort of inversion signals. They, they're times that go the opposite direction at that time. And there we go. There's our white arrows. And so pattern four protocol kicking in there, which is really bananas if you think about it. Um, again, I don't know if you can see, I'll blow this up. This book was written six years ago. This is the NQ 2016 signal. So now on here, pretty big dramatic open. I have to wait for a retest Order submitted. of the low for this thing to puncture through. And the, e the ES can be pretty bananas. Where are we at? 32. Five points would be what? 27. Order submitted. Let's see if we get a five point drop out of the ES. The thing with the pattern four setup, when it breaks through that low, I have to use the candle that punctured it as uh, a reference for the stop loss. So if we break through this low on this candle, I'm going to put my stop above the high. The other possibility is this candle closes above the moving average 
And with these white arrows underneath here, that then becomes a, a crossover in the direction of the trend. So we'll watch for that too. But either way, I've got a plan. I know what my risk will be before we get there, and I know when to uh, sort of watch for it too, which is kind of cool. I like being able to tell you guys when the signal is coming up, what the market is doing at that time, and what to watch for and, and expect, right? All right, let's hang out and see what happens. So far, it's a picture-perfect pattern four, though. Okay, let's uh, let's see if they move through this low with gusto. Many times when uh, they puncture the low, they'll replicate this retracement leg distance. So right now the bottom of the leg is 32, top of the leg is 44, that's 12 points. So if they break this low, there's a uh, very high probability they'll move 12 points in the direction of that low. Let's see what happens here. We're just shy of uh, halfway of that at five points. So. Again, these were all predictive times, right? Even though there was a pattern four here, it's kind of neat to see right at the 931 signal. I mean, come on. Right at the close of that candle, it's been dropping down. So it's helpful sometimes just to draw the line, remember. Remember what you're looking for. One to two ticks below that. That line is at 32.50. I'll put it at 32, two ticks under, just so we don't get caught up in a retest. So right now, 32 to 27. We'll see if they follow through on that behavior pattern. This is just one of the benefits of predictive timing signals. You just sort of know what to expect when you get to a time. You sort of analyze, well, what pattern is it? Okay, this is what usually happens at those times. And then you wait to see it either follows through or, or it doesn't follow through.
right, pull back right there down to a double bottom retest of 33.50. So we're still six ticks away from our our doomsday entry here. Institutions like to use panic and uh, stop runs to generate momentum. Basically the dark side of the force, if you will. So they get people comfortable with structure. Oh, it'll never go through here. Look, we've tested it two times. And then, ah, it just hurts. They inflict pain. And then that small amount that it costs them to inflict pain, um, people's emotions kick in. Order right? All right, so there's our purchase. Order submitted. Stop level right there. If I get to two and a half, three dollars, I'll go to break even. I'll put it two ticks above the high, and we'll see what happens. All right, there's two and a half. I'm going to go to plus one on this one. Perfect entry. And if I get to three, I'm going to lock in two. Yep, there's two. We don't want to uh, lose what we've made. That's one of the biggest ways Order filled. time has helped me. Order canceled. Okay, so there's our second trade of the morning. We've got a um, nice little amount here. And so um, it may continue down towards the full target, but locking in our position between the two trades today. We've got about five points. Uh, total about $250 per contract just using uh, two of the setups here this morning the puncture trade um, which is a pretty amazing setup um, and then our pattern four uh, signal again just to review that we knew coming into the trade there was a selling pressure signal at a brand new low historically that signal when the banks get to this time there's usually a preliminary reversal and then a retest. A pattern four is sort of binary. It has buying and selling pressure characteristics. And so we knew that they had to get that out of their system, come back, re-attack the low, and then we were waiting there for our sell order. Not a bad day. Again, opening after a three-day weekend. You can see uh, not very random at all <laughs> down here up here failure up here down here it's like watching a choreographed dance with these guys i'm michael with back to the future trading if you want to trade predictively instead of using horrible lagging indicators that quite honestly just don't work anymore um, click on the link in the description take you to our video demo where you can watch our weekly live webinar events and learn for yourself how you can uh, turn the tide in your own trading. Be careful out there, everyone. Take care. Okay, I've come back here for one more setup here at 946. This is a time where buyers normally come in and either stall the down move or push higher. And you can see that they stalled the move for about uh, three minutes here, and now they're starting to fall down in a way. This tells me that banks aren't, uh, aren't defending this position that they normally defend. Uh, and so, they're allowing prices to continue to fall and continue to fall. My line in the sand for this puncture trade, which is just a repeat of what we had up over here, is one and a half ATR values away from the low of this candle right there, the signal candle at 946. So basically, this is the time where they usually push up. Bad place to short it, right? But if it continues to fall when they usually push up, that's a failure. And so I'm waiting here with my selling position to see if they'll break through this line. One and a half ATR values away from the low of that candle. And if they do, I've got a preliminary um, buy order down here, uh, five points away, another $250. My risk will be above the candle that punctures 
that. So I'll come up here. Order submitted. And get a buy stop ready. Just in case it goes through. Uh, 3916 quarter. So a failure of the buyers to come in at the time that they normally would tells me that the time is essentially undefended. Whatever algorithms or prop firms or investment banks were normally pushing up here are stepping to the side. Order filled. All right, so here's my stop. I'll come here. Again, if I get to about uh, two and a half points, I'm going to move to break even. We'll see if they follow through. We'll go two ticks above the high right there, which is uh, 20. So we'll go to 2050. Now we'll wait and see what happens. Okay, 953. I'm up a uh, point and a half. This is another example of a pattern four. So when this candle closes, it's going to be a pattern four. So I want to go ahead and uh, move my buy stop down as soon as this candle closes, which is right here. So now pattern four is in play. And um, I'm already in profit. So if it breaks through this low, I'm already here. So I'm up two and a half points so far. I want to see if it'll continue to drop. Okay, there it goes. Three. I'm going to lock in two. 13.50. One more tick down. So I've got three ticks locked in. I'm going to drop in more. Order filled. Order canceled. Okay. So in that instance, it was kind of cool. We had the eventual puncture failure. And then the pattern four right here, we were already in profit. And it broke through that low. Just like it did up in our other trade here. So we had basically back-to-back -back repeats of the puncture trade. And then the pattern four retest. Puncture trade and then the pattern four retest. So all told right here. We, uh, we finished up 4.37 uh, for the morning using the time signals, which is pretty bananas. So now I'm really going to say goodbye, but I saw that setting up and I wanted you to see um, that we could kind of understand what was happening in advance and prepare our orders uh, for those moves. Thanks again. This is really the end. <laughs> I have an appointment with a customer, so I'll check you guys later. And again, please check out our website. Bye.